Welcome to Senior Here, where you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy, Nikki Tay Tay. And today, we are reviewing 21 Bridges. Directed by Brian Kirk, starring Chadwick Boseman. 21 Bridges is a film that I was not even looking forward to. Let me just start off by saying that. This film, super low on the radar. I had seen a few commercials. Uh, saw my boy T'Challa was in it. And yeah. I was like, you know what? Like... Maybe after the movie, I will work my way to seeing. Uh, happened to have some free time, so we say, you know what, let's go see it. And I was blown away. I actually was very surprised by this movie. Uh, even though I will say the plot, I kind of I kind of knew, I kind of seen, I saw it was coming. But I enjoyed the ride the whole way. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just start shooting. I thought this movie, you know, felt, to, uh, for me, like, Vintage Denzel Washington, and when I mean that, I mean like when Denzel Washington was in this period of just making action movies, and all of them was hits. Like it was like Man on Fire, uh, Out of Time, uh, Inside Man. He was just making hits after hits after hits, and this film was giving me that vibe. I'm like, man, this is exciting. This is fun. I'm getting solid acting, uh, and even like the action was was really good. I was like, dang, like. Chadwick Boseman might be the Black John Wick. Like I'm getting that kind of vibe from this film. It was it was a fun time. At the beginning of this movie, uh, it felt like Grand Theft Auto. I'm not gonna lie, like like these guys were mass murderers, and they were doing it in a way that's like, or do y'all got auto assist though? Like why are y'all so pinpoint accurate in what y'all doing? And this movie was a thrilling adventure, and I really did enjoy it as well. Uh, it was action packed. Uh, it was thrilling, and it kind of left you, you know, wanting to see what's going to happen next. Like, uh, this movie, for me, was kind of in the same vein as uh, Black and Blue, right? Uh, very similar movies in the premise, but this one was way better than Black and Blue. This did something that Black and Blue didn't. It had that com emotional connection throughout the movie. We actually cared about the main character and what he was seeking, which was vengeance. And I enjoyed every moment of seeing him work his way through, not, well, I'm sorry, navigate his way through uh, the mysteries of what really happened at the crime scene that he started off with. It's crazy because I completely forgot about Black and Blue. <laughs> I forgot we even saw that movie. Uh, that movie was was bad. This is very good. Chadwick Boseman playing the cop who has to track down, you know, these two guys in a robbery gone wrong. Uh, and, it, and again, it is thrilling. It is exciting. It was uh, almost edging your seat worthy. I will say a lot of people in the theater was kind of hyping it. They're like, oh my God! Uh, and I'm just like, being in that environment, it's, it's easy for you to go, okay, this is good. Like, yeah. let me get into it. Yeah. Because everybody in the theater was so into it. It's been a while since I saw a movie uh, that really had that response. Maybe like Endgame, where, where it felt like you, was, you were literally watching it with the entire theater versus just enjoying it kind of on your own. And uh, I would say the biggest negative to this movie for me was the predictability, right? Uh, nothing in this movie surprised you, right? And I think that's just maybe due to just knowing movies, right? Like, it's just so, I guess, cliche, you know, from beginning to end. Like, you kind of know, or we get it, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't want to ruin the story, but you get it. Like, you just can walk your way through knowing what's going to happen. Now, this doesn't take away from the movie, but you do have to point out that you've seen this coming, right? You've seen this coming a mile away, even to the end, right? Even at the end, I've seen it all coming. And uh, they could have maybe done a better job of maybe trying to disguise things and kind of lead us in different directions. Uh, they didn't do that. They kind of went for the straight forward approach. And if that's what they want to do, it's fine. It's not a bad movie uh, because of it. Kind of like John Wick, you just kind of know what's going to happen in this movie. Chadwick Boseman was the standout in this movie. And I'm not going to lie, he's really been impressing me uh, from an actorial standpoint. Uh, we get James Brown. We get Thurgood Marshall. We get Jackie Robertson. And we also get Black Panther. We get we get T'Challa. And he does a good job of navigating through all of these characters and really making them his own. And I will have to say that he is really uh, stepping into that uh, that Will Smith, Denzel Washington, Samuel Jackson kind of territory. Uh, him and Michael B. Jordan, in my personal opinion, is leading the way with this, uh, even though he's kind of older himself, but leading this way with these, I would say, newer uh, black people because, you know, Denzel Washington and Will Smith, they kind of on the, the old end of the spectrum. And uh, 
Chadwick Boseman is really doing a great job. And that just leads me into how I feel about this movie. Uh, not only did this movie uh, have me kind of on the edge of my seat, uh, not only was this movie action-packed, but I got really, really good acting uh, from Chadwick Boseman. So I will have to get this movie an eight. Uh, I think that this is a very solid movie. Uh, it's definitely worth uh, the watch. And like me and Nikki Taylor said, we neither of us really was like looking forward to this movie. But I can say personally that I am... I have to, for now on out, put Chad with both on that list of guys that no matter what he in, no matter how I feel about the trailer, I'm going to have to watch his movies. He's going to be on that must-watch list for me uh, now and going forward. In conclusion, Chadwick Boseman has another notch on his belt, uh, and I'm happy for the guy. I'm happy that he is now getting to display more of his already talented range. You alluded to all the characters he plays, and this is just another one. The cop role I thought was a good fit for him. I believed he was a cop. Other than the fact that I know deep down he's Black Panther. I was enjoying it. I could see, even for me, and I and I, I never say this. I could see two or three more of these films. Like, I wouldn't be mad if they turned this into a little franchise with this great detective guy solving crimes. Because he had, like, a skill that was, like, like it was, it, it was realistic, but it wasn't, like, over the top. Like, everything he was saying and, and deducing, I was like, yeah, okay, that was, that was smooth. He just there. Uh, and I enjoyed that. And then along with his John Wick abilities, this could be, you know, a fun three movie series, right? Uh, in the end for me, I'm about where you are, but I'm just going to go slightly higher. 8.2. Uh, because I really enjoyed this movie. I actually look forward to not thinking about this movie for a while and then like in a year and a half going, oh, yeah, I would definitely want to see this again because I'm thinking about the scenes and I just want to experience all that emotion one more time. That completes the review for 21 Bridges. I uh, absolutely hope everybody goes out and sees this movie. Really good, uh, and it just fits the bill. You know, we've been getting all these good movies. 21 Bridges is in this time slot. It's like, oh my God, everybody's gotta do the, the Oscar grab, I guess. I guess this is what does everybody back uh, heavy in, you know, low the, the latter part of the year. Whatever. That's what it's always like too, especially around Oscar time. Nah, nah, the, sun, the summers be lit and the summers was kind of mild this year. Yeah, they back up. Early, back early in the year, you know, when you get when you come off the holidays, it's supposed to be lit too. And we, we ain't really get none of that. They back up. It was kind of just like sprinkled in. It was with the big movies that you knew. Like, I like seeing these surprising movies. Like this one. Like 21 Bridges. Surprise. Uh, what was another good one? Captive State. Really good movie that came out earlier this year. You know, those kind of films that you can be like, oh, I'm not really looking forward to. You go see it and you blown away. Uh, let us know if you see the film, how you like it. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know in great detail. If you want to see more from Chadwick Boseman, is he on your must-watch list? Let us know. Uh, make sure you hit this notification bell to keep up to date with all of our reviewing content. And as always, don't forget, you've seen it here.